Now we're going to look at decreasing by a certain percentage. Now let's say that Sally buys £1,250 worth of shares in a company called Pear. Now, unfortunately for Pear, other Druti technological companies are doing much better than them. Therefore, after one year, they lose 16% of their value. So let's recap the question. Sally buys £1,250 worth of shares in pair, but after one year, they lose 16% of their value. How much are the shares worth after one year? This works in a very similar way to increasing by a percentage, but instead we're going to decrease, and we're still going to multiply to do that. So, just like before, we must start off by writing down our original amount. Sally buys £1,250 worth of shares, so we'll write down 1250 We're going to multiply it, remember, so then we'll write down multiply. Now, the question is, how do we work out what we're going to multiply by? So, yes, our original amount is 100%. That original amount is going to drop, remember, by 16% because after one year the shares lose 16% of their value. So, in your head, 100% take away 16% is 84%. So, Sally, after one year, is going to have 84% of the value left. So we multiply, just like before, by 84%, but it's going to be 84% as a decimal. And remember, we're going to take 84, divide it by 100. That gives us 1,250 times by 0 0.84. If you work out that, you have worked out a decrease of 16%. And our answer is £1,050. That's a percentage decrease.